Thanks for tuning in. This is Sweet Cyclist, and today we're going to be showing you how to replace your Look Kyo cleats using the Look Memory Eyelet. So in today's video, we're going to review how to use the Look Memory Eyelet to make replacing your Look Kyo pedals easy and painless without losing any of the adjustments you've already had. Now what I'm referring to is the fourth hole if you have a three bolt cycling shoe. Not all shoes have this, but many of them actually do. And if you're like me, you probably ignored the center thing or wondered why it makes a noise. It, as if you don't use it, it will kind of slide back and forth with some shoe models. These are the FLR F11 shoes that we recently reviewed. And what brought me, what brought this to my attention is these shoes actually came with these two small five millimeter screws. And I wasn't sure what these actually went to as you don't really need, shouldn't need any uh, screws for brand new shoes. But I quickly realized it was for that center bolt. And like many people, I've simply ignored it for the last decade. Now we're going to be looking at the Look Kyo cleat. This is a grip version, and that just means it has these little grippy pads on there. And when you see the, cleat, the cleats, you see it has a little cover in the center and this black tab here. If I push down on that rubber, you can see I'll pop it out. And you have a basic rubber piece here, and we have this little tab. A uh, look refers to this as the look memory tab. And the intention here is the tab will sit on here and you run the bolt through there, hold this in place, replace the cleat, put the new cleat on here, and you'll retain the exact same position that you started with. So here you see an old cleat on my uh, FLR cycling shoe. I've already used the memory tab and I have the bolt already in place from the previous installation. So now to replace my cleat, it becomes a very simple. All I do is re I loosen up the bolts as you normally would. And instead of having to use a Sharpie or tape or anything else to indicate where my current cleat position is, I simply loosen all the bolts, pop it off, And what you'll see is what stays in place is the memory tab itself. And the memory tab will ensure that I place the new cleat correctly. So here's the new cleat. I pushed out the rubber uh, gasket on it already. And I took off the memory tab that this came with. And then I simply kind of slide this in place. And that's about it. So it will retain the exact same position as the previous one. And I don't have to go through the hassle of kind of re-determining my ideal location. As you know, with cycling, uh, every millimeter matters. It can be the difference between being comfortable and being uncomfortable. So reinstallation is very simple, as you would with any cleat. You simply put in the new hardware. You reinstall the gasket in either case whether this is a brand new installation or a simple replacement. You just push that through and that's it. As you can see, no Sharpie, no tape. Uh, pretty convenient. Uh, very nice trick, especially if you have the eyelet. So now the other scenario I want to cover is if you have new shoes, how do you start with this memory eyelet? The uh, first thing you want to do is you want to take your new cleat, push through on that little rubber gasket, and you'll see it'll pop out the memory tab, and it'll pop out the cover. Then you take the memory tab, and you want to place this kind of beveled edge on the inside. Pop that back in place, and try to find your cleat position. Now what you'll notice is the ideal cleat position may not match that, that whole position. And especially if you have new shoes, you'll see that this is a little bit more difficult to move around. But once you've kind of fiddled with it a bit, you'll see that this is actually adjustable along this uh, uh, slot. So you basically want to adjust that until it's in the right position to where you can see it and you have the cleat in the position you want. So as you can see, I have everything lined up here. And I will then take the bolt that came with your shoes, 
the little five millimeter bolt. I'm gonna slide it through the memory tab. Take my screwdriver. And tighten that in place. So making sure I have the position I want. And then I have that tightened down. So I have that in place. Now I take my new hardware and install it as I normally would. So the only additional step here is you need to reinstall that cover, the little rubber gasket. So I'm going to take that and just kind of push it into place. And that's it. Now you have your cleats ready to go. And the next time you come around, a lot less work.